good morning everybody uh, my talk has been made easier by the previous speakers as well you know uh, now the question is uh, should we stick to conventional or go on for a uh, robotic tkr see the robot in general uh, people's mind is a precision of in microns and angstrom but do we really require that kind of precision most of the if your uh, joints are within 3 degrees they would do well here in conventional surgery the surgeon is the master you are not dependent on the computer or a robot to uh, tell you what to do you are most surgeons are quite familiar with the approach and technique and they do it very well the conventional way the incision is smaller it is quick and in the august uh, gathering which i see most of the surgeons will do the surgery in a quick way and also it is easier to revise the cuts as you are quite familiar with the technique what are the drawbacks of robotic so you can create errors while doing the registration process it is time consuming and tedious you need to take additional incisions and it's a emerging technology the technology has not settled so we should watch from side how the things improve also we are changing the target as we uh, uh, heard from the last spe uh, speech that you know we are going for mechanical alignment or kinematic alignment and things like that so we need to teach the robot you know it is like every time you use a robot you are teaching a first year student where is the anatomy where is the medial condyle where is the lateral condyle and then ask him to help you that it becomes tedious if you are you know having a, a, a high volume surgeon cost is another issue and you need to have scans to ct scans so that again is the additional burden to the patient and exposure now in a hospital like this if i go and ask uh, you know can i buy a robot you know my management tells you will you do 2000 3000 surgeries a year then i might decide on buying a robot but which is may not be the case in most of the hospitals now another thing is what the robotic surgeons are trying to tell that it is the accuracy which is going to uh, you know make your uh, joint survive but as we heard from other speakers you need to see whether you know whether it's your mal alignment which has caused the failure or in my experience probably it there are other uh, causes which are causing the failures that we see is the infection trauma maybe osteoporosis is the reason for your implants to fail and the stiffness and arthrofibrosis and such is the case during the surgery you know the robot will not tell you whether you need to do additional bone cuts or you need to do additional soft tissue release it is intelligent but it is not wise the surgeon has got the experience and wisdom you have to determine what to do i'm showing you this picture this was done without robot without navigation we don't need a robot to tell us that it is a 3 degree mal alignment or not now coming to the case yeah uh, the robot will not tell you you know about the it has only certain parameters it will tell you it will not tell you about the osteophytes it will not tell you what you want to do the patella so it has a limited uh, uh, limited use uh, the technology is that and whether after the implantation of cementing whether it is 100% accurate or not that also it is uh, debatable because there will be an error in your implanting your uh, implant and cementing and whatever the cuts which you may have got validated may not be the same so i think i would rather stick to uh, conventional tkr and i'm sure most of you you know are able to do 
it in a right way and a good way and give a good result to the patient. Thank you.